welcome. I know that it's been quite a while since I gave you any um, motorcycle content. Today is sort of like BMW's birthday uh, celebration kind of thing at BMW in Norwich. Perfect time for me to go and uh, have a little look at the bike. And I'm going to have a test ride with the BMW S1000R. I had a test ride and reviewed the uh, S1000RR a year ago or so and um, it blew my socks off. I'm expecting great things for the S1000R too. So without further ado, we'll just skip to uh, BMW. See you in a moment. What bike am I on? Oh my lord. So here we go, this is my first impressions of the BMW S1000R. Really like it. Got a lovely comfortable seating position, you're not too far forward. Gosh, it's pretty heavy, I have to say that. So it's about time I uh, gave you some specifications of this um, bike. Well, it's 160 brake horsepower, but it produces its highest torque at a lower RPM. It weighs about 207 kilograms, but if you change the exhaust setup, you could uh, get it less than 200 uh, kilograms. I mean, yeah, obviously it sounds really nice too. This has got the Acra on it. Wow, this thing's crazy fast. Yeah, really enjoying this. I don't think this is the Sport though. Whee! Oh, this is lovely. This is oh, really impressed with this bike. You can upgrade this bike in many ways. You can get a uh, Akrapovic on it. You can dyno jet it. But if you're gonna buy the pipes and dyno jet it, you're, you're almost spending as much as an S1000 double R, which is 16 grand. It's up to you whether you think that's uh, worth it or not. If you prefer the look of this bike more, then yeah, it's a no-brainer. I'm not a huge, huge fan of the uh, the double R looks. I've said it before, but this I'm a huge fan of its look. It's a really nice looking roadster or street bike. So uh, as I was saying, really liking this seating position. And that's sort of the end of my uh, test ride. Once again, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Take care.